All right, what's up, everybody? It's uh, Coach Brian Jackson with Coaching Tips. And uh, before I start with this week's edition, um, I'm going to be talking about some prizes that we typically give away at some of our camps. At our next camp, which is going to be in New Orleans, we're actually giving away a, a football that's going to be signed by all of our staff, as well as some new Nike socks, a little bit of neon green, as well as a brand new pump. Um, we typically like to give these type of prizes away at all of our camps, so um, come out to our camps and enjoy some, some friendly competition. All right, this week's topic is going to be kicking tees. Um, there's been numerous times that players have come to me and asked me, you know, Coach, should I be using the 2-inch tee, uh, should I use a 1-inch tee, or should I kick off the ground? Um, and when I'm saying 2-inch and 1-inch tee, I'm, I'm talking about uh, the area of field goals. Um, so there's an option of using a 2-inch tee, which looks just like this. Um, there's also a 1-inch, which looks just like this. And then obviously kicking off the ground. What the 2-inch tee does, it gives you a chance to get more trajectory when you're beginning. Um, when you hear the term sweet spot, uh, that's re referring to the football. And when you start off on the 2-inch tee, that basically gives you enough room to be able to come underneath the ball and get good contact. Um, typically, you want to do that when you're starting off all the way up through your sophomore or junior year of high school, whatever you feel comfortable. And then you need to be able to transition to the 1-inch tee, okay? Because eventually, you want to be able to transition to the ground um, if you have aspirations to play college football. Here's what I say to all of my players, all right? So if you're a sophomore and you're about to be a junior, okay, and you're going to camp season, which basically means uh, through your spring and summer months, you're going to be going to a bunch of camps. Yeah, you want to be able to learn how to be able to kick off the ground, um, but when it comes back to getting ready for your high school season, you need to get back to that tee, all right? It's imperative to be able to use these two tees whether it's 2-inch or 1-inch, whatever's comfortable during the season. You don't need to be going from off the ground, then back to the tee, and vice versa every week. All right, That's really going to throw off your hips, and it's really going to make you inconsistent and inaccurate. Hey coach, should I kick off the ground during my senior year of high school? Here's my answer. No. All right. The reason why I say that is you don't know what kind of grass you're going to be playing on in away games. Um, you also have other elements like the offensive line that there might be some leakage that's coming through. Um, off the edge, you might not have the best holder and snapper. Um, so I would use the one inch field goal tee your senior year, if that's what you're comfortable with. You can even use a two inch tee, but I would definitely not kick off the ground. Here's one of the reasons why. College coaches expect you to use that one inch tee to take advantage of it during your senior year. Um, they want to be able to see you kick off the ground preceding your last season of high school during some college camps, but they also understand that you have all the way from December through to August. It's six to seven months that you have plenty of time to transition to the ground. So my suggestion is to use the one inch or two inch field goal tee during your high school career for your advantage.